What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We are finally back. I know it's been a minute since we last posted anything, but let me kind of update you guys on what's been going on the last two weeks. So not sure if you guys knew, but our entire city was evacuated due to the Caldor fire. Definitely not something that I've ever experienced before and a lot of people in this city had never experienced. So it was a pretty crazy moment just seeing the entire city be evacuated and then not knowing if you'd come back to a home or not. I also don't want to make it sound like you guys should feel bad for us or anything like that because we at least got to come back to a home and there's a lot of people out there that weren't so lucky. But yeah, the fire did actually get pretty close. If you head to the other side of town, you can actually see some charred areas and you can see it all up on the mountain too. It's pretty crazy. When we go pick up my car from San Jose, we'll be passing through that area. So I'll show you guys all of that when the time comes. So that's kind of what's been going on these last couple of weeks. Once again, thank you to all of the first responders. It was pretty cool. I got some messages from subscribers that said they were actually on the Caldor fire. And if you guys didn't know, Marco is also a firefighter and he was also on the Caldor fire for a little bit. So it was pretty cool. But anyways, guys, if you remember from the last video, I don't expect you to because it was so long ago, um, we figured out that the actual audio port or audio jack on the camera was messed up. So we took that in, we got a trade in value for it. And now we have the same camera, except now it's brand new with a perfectly working audio port, hopefully. <laughs> we should be hearing super crisp audio now. I'm also using the wireless mic, so you can see it right there. So for today's video, it's gonna be a short one, but it's gonna be super exciting. We have some unboxing to do. Um, we got some parts for the STI. We have a new sponsor for the channel, and we also have some giveaway stuff that I want. But before we get to those packages, I just wanna show you guys this super dope shirt right here. Let me try to set this up here so you guys can see the back. Maybe, can you guys? You guys see the back? So if you guys don't know, that's Alexander Vargas's car. And this is first drop on the uh, new camera. <laughs> Vargas's car on the back. Not sure if you guys can see it from there, but this is actually his new merch that he dropped. So if you guys want to check him out, I'm going to link his Instagram right here. He sent me this shirt or he personally delivered this shirt. I just haven't had the chance to open it, but I finally got it open. He also sent me a jet tag, which I'm not going to lie, Alex. I misplaced it so i'll find it and then i'll show you guys so moving on we have the three packages here and i'm not sure which one i want to open first let's do let's do the giveaway stuff first so this box right here i actually entered a giveaway i'm sure you guys remember david with the black sti the black m sports sti and then steven both of them are alex's friends them two along with another friend actually started a page called street vaders rolling out merch already so they did a giveaway for some Apple AirPods and then the merch that they just dropped. And I'm not really sure if they did like multiple, but I did win one of them. And they do some pretty dope merch, so I wanna show you guys. And also, I gotta support the boys, of course. Um, the sweater they sent out is sick, I'll show you guys. So first off, we got the brand new AirPods Pro. Super stoked on these, because I was thinking about getting them, and then I ended up winning them. So this is super cool, thank you guys so much. So check out their logo, Street Vaders sticker super dope and if you guys want to check them out i'm going to link their instagram and all that stuff here but check out this hoodie if you look it's a nike hoodie but then once you open it it has a super dope sleeve so check it out guys and it's like it's almost like texturized it's weird but super super dope so i'll show you guys the entire hoodie i like the color too so that's what it looks like. So once again, thank you to Street Vaders for sending this out. I think up next, I wanna do the parts for the STI that we've been waiting on. You guys probably know if you guys have been watching the vlogs, I've talked about getting this stuff. So for this package, thank you to David, not this David, different David, and Fast Mods uh, for sending out these parts for the STI. And thank you to Alex Vargas for kind of going over everything with me because I was a little confused on the whole um, fuel pressure regulator. So he kind of walked me through everything and showed me all the parts that he got. So we got the regulator right here, went with Aeromotive. I heard it's a really good brand um, and Vargas was running it. So I trust that if anything goes wrong with my car, I'm coming after Vargas. Also, I got the gauge, same thing from Aeromotive. Um, like I said, all these parts were the same parts that Alex was running. He gave me like a full list of them. And I started off with these two because I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to need. I think he said that he was running stock fuel rails that were modified, so he had to run it a little bit different. I'm not sure. Um, so for now, we're going to start with these two and then see what we need after that. And finally, the third thing, we finally got 
the AEM fuel pump that I've been talking about. So I believe this one is the 340 AEM fuel pump. And this is the one that Javi recommended. A bunch of people recommended this fuel pump specifically. I believe Alex is also running this one. Um, but I think with this one, you get to go for like flex fuel if you ever want to run that in the future. I think I am going to end up running a flex fuel kit in the future. Um, even though there's no pumps near us, I think it'd be pretty cool to run E85 whenever I'm down like in the Bay Area or whatever, down in SoCal. So this fuel pump will allow me to do that. So we just got this one. And then hopefully in the future, like I said, we'll be able to run the flex fuel kit. So these are the three parts that we got. This one I kind of consider just one part the gauge and the fuel pressure regulator and then the fuel pump. So once again, thank you to David and thank you to Fast Mods. And lastly, the last box. I'm sure you guys already saw it when I was showing it earlier, but I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to our new sponsor. Thanks to everyone at Grimspeed and thank you to Clinton over at Grimspeed for sending this package out. So these are the Grimspeed windshield banners. I got them in white because I feel like white just goes good with everything. Um, so here's this one right here. We have a total of three windshield banners. We'll set those aside. Next up, we have some super dope Grim Speed license plate frames. So you got Grim Speed on the bottom, of course, and then at the top it says a mark of innovation. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Check them out, guys. And these are actually really nice. You can tell they're like really high quality. And then the, something about the Grim Speed feeling, like the feel of the lettering, it's just like super dope. So thank you for these. Next up, we have some Grim Speed decals. So we have one in white and then we have one in black. I'm eyeing that black one, man. That black one looks super dope. Um, but we also have the white one. Oh, it looks like we have a bunch of them. So a bunch of white ones, a bunch of black ones. The red Grim Speed decals, I'm not sure what these are called, but they're squared and they're like an actual sticker. So we'll put those right there. Um, they also sent out their jet tags. So you have the Grim Speed logo up front, handcrafted in the USA, and then on the back it says speed begins here. And then lastly, we have some t-shirts from Grim Speed. So we'll go ahead and open this and show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and it's a tank top too. So we got a Grim Speed tank top, it says a mark of innovation up front, Grim Speed Manufacturing, and then you have the welding helmet face shield. So really dope care package that they sent out. Once again, huge thank you to everyone over at Grim Speed. As you guys can see, we don't have any car parts for Grim Speed. I am planning on running a top mount intercooler from Grim Speed, and then I also already have the three port boost controller. So if you guys wanna check out their site, I'm gonna link everything down below. Make sure you guys go check them out. So there it is guys, there is everything that we had to unbox. Thank you to Grimspeed, thank you to Fast Mods and David, and thank you to Street Vaders. Like I said, I know this was a short video, but we're back guys, we have a functioning camera. We have all these parts that we're gonna throw on. As far as the STI being back from paint, quick little update on that. They told me that they painted it, and then it reacted weird once they put it in the sun, so they had to respray it again. And at this point, I'm just waiting for the call to tell me that it's ready to be picked up. Hope you guys are excited. I know the summer is coming to an end, but we still have Suvi Fest to attend and then we're still gonna try to attend Week Fest um, as long as the car is back in time so that we can register it and all that stuff. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.